Welcome, in front of me is a Willophone Armor X5 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So let me quickly progress uh, so you can see that the device is locked. And in the process while I'm doing that, uh, what you want to do is get a SIM card as I have one right here and it needs to have some kind of contact on it. Doesn't matter if it's real contact or not, it just needs to have something saved on there. And as you can see there is the verification via pattern or account. So to get started, let's go to, back to the first page. Hopefully I'll have enough battery to finish this and simply put the card in there. So there we go. And there's the pen for the SIM card. Now this doesn't really apply to you. Uh, you don't need to have any kind of pen. Uh, I do, that's why it's popping up. So once you insert the SIM card, what you wanna do is tap on emergency call, tap emergency information twice, edit it, go to add contact. And here you should see all the contacts on your SIM card. Now, just a tip, if you don't see any contacts, either wait a couple of seconds or reboot the device and then come back here. So from here, choose any kind of contact like I just did. Then tap on the contact itself. It's allow, allow, allow. And we want to share it. So tap on share and you'll see a couple options. And what you want to do is now hold Gmail. This will give us the pop-up right here. And from here we're gonna go to app info and then let's go down let's go down and actually right here it's notifications additional settings and the app then tap on the three dots and go to help and feedback and in the description you want to type in morse code so use Morse code as the first thing that pops up. And now tap on the video. Tap on three dots and go to watch later. Now I should probably also mention we do need a internet connection for this. Which I'm not even sure if I am connected. Okay, I am. So from here, we're gonna navigate into how to reset that info. And from here, you wanna tap on the three bars right here and go into the downloads category. In the download, download search field, you want to search for Android 8. And there should be only one thing that it finds, which is the FRP unlock up. There you go. Oops, let's scroll down. Okay, and there we go. I'm not sure what was showing before. Uh, so there it is for the Android 8. Let's tap on download. Scroll down. And instead of tapping on this, you wanna hold it. And then choose to open an incognito tab. This will prevent any kind of problems that might happen with the download. And then allow anything that pops up, tap on okay. It will start the download. And once it's finished, you can then tap on the open as you can see. Now before we can actually install it, we do need to go into the settings and allow from this source, go back and install. Once it's done, open it up. And from here, we're gonna start off by a Google Account Manager APK install and select for version 6.0. And again, same premise, settings, allow from this source, go back and install. And this time around, you only have the done option, so choose that. And from here, we should be back in the FRP bypass app. And now you wanna tap on bypass FRP. Select browser sign in. Tap on the three dots, go to browser sign in right here. Tap on okay. And it should open up your Google uh, sign in right here. So in here, 
using your Google account you want to log in. Now if you don't have one you will need to create it. Um, it's completely free so don't worry. And once you create it then use it to log in here. Now I have one so that's what I'm going to use. There we go. Now I'm going to put in a password. And then I'm going to select login. And it should go back to the app as you can see. So from here we're basically done, at least on this side. So hold power key, select restart. And let's wait for the device to restart. Now this is the pin for the SIM card again, so let's confirm that. And from here we want to go to the setup of the device once more. So you want to skip for the, the most part through everything that it shows you. You don't want to set up anything really because we still need to perform a reset of the device. So let's just try to get through the setup. And you can see that previously this was the screen that was showing us verify your Google account. Now it's telling us uh, account added or reset info. So that the one that I have added now for you, it should be different below. So simply tap on next. Okay, so from here that we are now on the home screen, what you want to do is regard the battery level, tap on the settings, scroll all the way down to system, reset options, erase all data, factory reset, and it gives you a message that this process will remove one of the things is Google account, and it provides us with the Google account that well, we have added but we'll also remove the one that isn't visible here that was previously blocking us uh, and well, it is still present on the device. So let's select reset a phone, erase everything and get blocked by the battery. So in normal circumstances, you would tap erase everything and the process would begin. Now, as you see, you, your battery needs to be at least at 30% or more, which mine isn't and I cannot progress through it. But once you do, the device will go to the reset again and now factory reset which will remove anything that we have downloaded and all that stuff um, but it also will remove the google accounts and once it's finished you should be back in the setup screen and from there you can go through the setup process of the device without any kind of hitch nothing will be blocking you it will be just as as though you're going through a setup process on a brand new device and once you go through it the device will be fully unlocked so as you can see, unfortunately, I cannot go through it because of the battery, but once you reset it, everything will be fine. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.